Bam, got him. <laughs> so this is, uh, this shouldn't exist, obviously, but uh, I figured that I would make a video on it because I just, I couldn't believe it. I'm so used to seeing these and then being knockoffs or cap guns or something along that line. Obviously no orange tip means that this thing has a lot of issues for any sort of public play. As much fun as it would be to use like a, an s and revolver during an HVZ, this is not field safe anywhere that I can think of. Maybe you could paint the whole thing orange, but you'd still be carrying something with a straight up revolver silhouette. I checked into one of my holsters. It is a one-to-one -one mold, uh, pretty unbelievable, down to the cylinder itself. So I picked it up recently on one of my, uh, my trips just because I couldn't believe that it was a, a real thing. And I'm so used to them not being foam dart blasters and being some sort of gel blaster or airsoft knockoff or something along that line that when I saw it had darts and half length darts no less, I was like, well, we gotta give that a shot. Now, obviously this is not a full size half length dart. I would argue that this is like a 60% half length dart. It's trying really hard to be, you know, something close to like a 32 special. It's, it's pretty wild, but it has a six dart revolver. It actually uses, and I might have to crack this thing open at some point. It uses a break action system to get into it. Reload that way. Click, click, one, two. And uh, you can't, you can't make that up. That is a, that is a functional, functional uh, revolver using these itty, itty bitty darts. And uh, the ranges aren't terrible. They're not great. You get about, you know, 12, maybe 10 foot shots. I have no speed loader for it, but we'll go outside and we'll put it over the chronograph. This is a pretty crazy little thing. You happen to be into, into that Wild West kind of, this is more gangster than Wild West, but if you like that general aesthetic. Does it have a decocker? Can I? Outside we go. What's up guys, it's Drac. We are here with our, uh, our sweet, very dangerous cat. I'm noticing now that it actually has a Colt Firearms badge on it. Jinx, you are freshly groomed, which means that it is about, so with that cloud coverage leaving, it is about to be way too bright Jinx. for you. So you gotta, you gotta head on out of the shower. Is that okay? Is that okay? Please, go on. Good dog. All right, so we're over here with the Smith & Weston. It's got six shots loaded up into it. We're ready to put it over the chronograph and see what we're working with here. It is a, uh, a fascinatingly dangerous copy of a real steel counterpart, but I do like the, the single action on it. I think the, you know, old school HVZ, this would be a very fun blaster from a perspective of like its portability, its compactness. And, uh, you know, obviously it's very, very safe because the FPS, is 39. Now, is it safe to carry in a modern college environment and fire at other, you know, students playing zombies? Absolutely not, but it would almost be a fun challenge to run the old uh, S&W coming in at a very consistent, well, a very low FPS. I'm actually amazed we got a reading on all of those, but it looks like the, the general consensus there is roughly 40 FPS. Just a, an incredibly funky ammo type here as well with the pseudo nine mil foam darts. I wanna know what factory they're making them in just because they're, they're actually not a terrible construction of dart. Uh, they're not, you know, bowberry or hard tip levels. And the, uh, the overall ergo of this is fun. So an incredibly dangerous, but also incredibly safe toy pistol. I think that this one has some interesting merit, but it would need to come and a completely orange coloring and obviously somehow get through, uh, you know, this one came over in a suitcase, but uh, I think that getting it through customs with a Smith & Weston and Colt Firearms logo on it, you're, you're violating multiple trademarks in one go. So I think that getting a crate of them over here would be pretty difficult, but uh, it does appear that despite the sunny day, it's about to start raining as well. So I think that we're gonna have to cut this one short, but that's kind of my hot take on it. I think that if you find one of these for under 10 bucks and you notice that it is in fact shooting foam, foam projectiles as opposed to a gel blaster or something along that line, I think it is fun. Not a bad, not a bad plinking, super low FPS 
like backup pistol of sorts. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this one in the comment section down below. You know, ironically, the performance is not too terribly departed from the Maverick of yore in a far less uh, child-friendly package. Thanks for watching.